All right, that is it. That's Miranda Lambert's new song, Wranglers. It's mm -hmm. off her latest album. It's called Postcards from Texas, which, by the way, is out today. And we are so into this, and we are so happy to have the Grammy-winning superstar with us right now. Miranda, Postcards from Texas. You, I need to slow my heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hometown. <laughs> I love it so much. And you went back to record this yep. in Austin, which is so awesome. We did. I haven't made a record in Austin since I was 18, or in Texas since yeah. I was 18. So it felt really full circle. Like, this is my 10th studio record. So I was like, I'm going back to the the root of where it all started and, and where the inspiration came from. And what does that do to be doing it there in Texas? What, how does it change how you did your work? You know, it, it felt, I felt, well, I felt at home, number yeah. one, and I just, it felt easy. I just, I, I'm a co-producer with my great friend, John Randall, mm -hmm. who's also a Texas boy, and we just got some really great local musicians, brought a few okay. people from Nashville, and, you know, I was like, I really want to make a record that, that has little pieces of every influence musically that I've ever had. So it's like little snapshots of all the influences over the last two decades mm. of my career. Um, that's why I called it Postcards from Texas. It felt like each one was a little separate little vignette. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And, and Wranglers, which I love, I've been mm. sort of stuck in my head all morning, is a return to sort of the woman scorned. Yeah. Very yeah, that's my bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all of ours. <laughs> yeah, that, absolutely. I felt like it really was a song that could have been on like Kerosene, my very first yeah. album, mm -hmm. or Crazy Ex Girlfriend, or yeah. you know, it's, it's on brand. You know what I do love too is that your cute husband um, actually contributed to one of these records. Did he give you some lyrics? Or yeah, what he's happened a co-writer, like full-on co-writer, like he's listed there? and everything. Wait, how did that happen? Yeah. Well, he, we started writing in 2020 when we were yeah. home, like yeah. for fun, yeah. and he was actually pretty good because he's a retired NYPD officer. Yeah. So I was like. You're pretty good, actually. Yeah. So then uh, we were writing for this record, and I mean, he's dabbled a little bit in it just with me yeah. for yeah. fun. Um, and John Randall and I were doing pre-production for this record, which was drinking tequila, talking about songs. <laughs> <laughs> and all, can we be part of the pre-production? Pre -production. Yeah, like talking that about sounds fun. Yeah, music. And Jr. picked up a guitar, and usually we're like, uh oh, we're gonna write one. Yeah. And I had been just kind of going through this journey of I got out of a record deal after 20 years, mm. and got a whole new team. I signed with Republic New York yeah, and Big Loud Nashville, and um, I just felt really excited that I was with a team that led with art. Yeah. And so I was, um, had been sort of grappling to my husband about like the end of that relationship mm -hmm. that wasn't serving me anymore. Yeah. So who better to write a song like that with you than the person that you talk to about it every day. Yes. So, um, but he was watching football and I was like, you don't get to do both. You gotta write a song, you gotta turn the game off. I love And he too. chose you he chose and the music. That's love right he did. there. That's true love. And by the way, we are actually going to Texas. We're doing oh, yeah. uh, a health and wellness show in Austin. Yes, and we're that going to the city Miraval. is so healthy. Yeah, is, is it? Yes, okay. it really well, is. It is. Like, my husband loves it there because everybody's always out running yeah. and there's, there's just, it's a really great city for, well, everything. And it's also a really good city for Mexican food. Yeah. Margaritas? Yeah. I'm also where, taking Where should shoe. we go? Where? I was going to say, my husband likes the health part. I like the tex <laughs> yeah, the Is there a spot you um, I love go Maudie's. Oh, I love yeah. Maudie's. Is that so where we should good. go? Yeah, okay. I found this little hole in the wall called Habaneros. It's like oh, yeah. a mile off South Congress. Yes. It's delicious. Have you ever been to Gueros? Yeah. Well, okay. I always go to Gueros. Because <laughs> I can walk home from Gueros. Yes, that's key. <laughs> I love it. You are getting the country icon. Why can't I say icon? Say because it. I'm not I need you to say it. Icon <laughs> award. At the Let me have this one. <laughs> I mean, to be called an icon. Yeah. That's crazy. That's it really is. And I feel like some days I'm just getting started in some ways. So yeah. already having icon status it means the world, but it's also like, all right, well, I got to uphold this. So I got to keep going. Wow. <laughs> it's so amazing. Well, we love you. Thank you for coming to see us. Congrats on your new record. Congrats on everything. Yes. And we'll, we'll see you in Texas. Yeah. yeah. Come visit Wait, us. And are you going to be there? Are you going to be there? Come play for us. Wait, are you going to be there October in late October? Yeah. <gasps> You're, uh, you're, you're I feel like margarita. I just caught your agent's eye and she's okay. like, dead. She's like this. <laughs> sure. All right. All All right. Right. Anyway, Miranda's new album, Postcards from Texas, is out right no, now. It's so good.